My name is Gillian Lewis and um, I'm commonly known as Jill. I work for the Royal Payments Agency in the GI technical team. Um, At the end of Data Mash now, what do you think of these two days and, and how do you think it's gone uh, compared to the last conference, for instance? So yeah, I attended the Birmingham conference, was that in November uh, last year? So I think quite a lot of similar people, similar faces, um, but we do seem to have progressed in what we're talking about. I've definitely felt like some of the sessions are covering new ground as, as opposed to repeating old ground. We probably still have got, have got some similar issues as last time, but for example, um, I did a session today on ethics, which is something that we've never spoken about before. So it uncovered some very interesting questions. We had a lot of questions, not many answers. Definitely some work to do. Um, it's really interesting that you mentioned data ethics because um, I know it's something that lots of people do care about, but it's it almost gets sidelined sometimes. But um, hopefully, you got some conversations in the in the room. Yeah, we had some interesting conversations. I think that there's definitely differing viewpoints as to what the ethics are and what the answers are, and that's part of the problem. I think is no one's really explored it. Um, Mike had an interesting comment that often when you're approaching open data, the first thing you think about is the legal side, can we do it, yes or no? Um, And if it's yes, release it, if not, work on it. But what we uncovered was that even if we can release it, should it be released, and if it should be released, how do we control the manner in which we're releasing it? For example, do we release all the attributes associated to it, or do we dumb it down, and what the implications of that is? Uh, That's really interesting. Um, You mentioned before, actually, that um, it's... in many ways quite a similar crowd to last time how do we widen that out to kind of new people that we need Mm. to reach particularly I guess people who have um, you know the power to change things yeah and I think that perhaps and there was an undercurrent in all of the sessions I've gone to regarding buy-in from people like directors within DEFRA um, and wider I think that a lot of the ideas that we're coming up with really do require that buy-in um, and that we need to get those people along to the conferences to understand how important it is and what support we need in order to reach the objectives that we have. So talking about the next co- conference, it uh, might be in November again, I'm right, guessing, okay. <laughs> possibly. Um, how do you think we get those people along? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, So I think often when we are doing, say, spatial analysis within our various organisations, we're very much here with the results to our directors. Perhaps we need to engage them more in the process of how we get to that point. And as part of that process, what's working and what isn't, and, oh, these bits that aren't working, we're working with the wider team in DEFRA. Um, Would you like to know more about it and come along to the conference to hear more about what's going on? Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's as good a place as any to find out stuff. Yeah. You know, um, you, you know, it's more interactive than just getting briefing notes, I guess. So. Yeah, and I think that's often um, the problem with spatial data is that um, a lot of people they don't really want to engage in it. They want to know what the results are, but but actually, when it comes down to the technicalities, they prefer not to have to understand it. Yeah, it is a bit tricky at times. Cool. Well, thanks for talking to me. You're it's welcome. really appreciated. <laughs> Cheers.